project is the smart microwave and the purpose of this project is to allow for convenience of use. All you have to do is on your prepackaged food, buy it, you have a QR code attached to it, you put in your food inside the microwave. Okay. Let's keep the QR code with you and you will scan it to the camera. It'll automatically send the commands over here, execute it, and wait until your food is ready. All you have to do next will be just to open the door once it's done. Explain all the different parts of our smart microwave. Over here we have the camera, which is what you use to scan the QR code. It's just a webcam. You could use any kind of connected camera. It sends information down to the Raspberry Pi, which is an image processor. The processed image information then gets sent over to our circuit that we designed. Um, and this piece right here is the microprocessor. It's where our program is stored. And it transmits the information into signals that then go into the microwave and control the microwave. The control unit is considered of two parts, the control panel and the microprocessor PCB. In normal use, when you push a button on the panel, there is a physical contact, like a mechanical switch, between two points that tells the microwave what to input, like number one or two or time click button. There are a total of 13 points or pins coming out of the control panel with the ribbon cable to the microprocessor PCB. And with different combinations between two points, we get different inputs in the LCD of the microwave. So for example, when we push the power level button, pin 6 and 13 gets connected, and that's how we select power. And the ribbon cable from the inside of the microwave looks like this. For our smart microwave model, instead of changing or modifying any of the control unit components, we designed our PCB that could be simply attached to the same place where the ribbon cable of the control panel is soldered. Technically, we're controlling the control panel of the microwave, and it is connected by these 15 pins that go to the same place where the ribbon goes, just like here. This technique has two benefits. It could be attached to any microwave in the market. Most of the microwaves have 13 pins, and if it's different, if it has one more pin, or if it's one less pin, we can simply change our code to add or remove additional pins. And this will give the user the functionality to use the scanner and the manual input simultaneously. This way, our model replicates the manual hand push button by electronic signal. To duplicate that manual hand push of the button by electronic signals, we first try to use analog or electronic switches. So the microcontroller will tell which one to be on or off to simulate the physical touch of two points. But we have problems getting missed in inputs and we would have to use 14, 40 switches. High cost and it's very inconvenient design. The solution then was solid state relays or optocouplers or they are also known as photo relays. When there is a voltage on pin 1 that led the LED and then the signal comes from 4 to 3 or the opposite way, and this is the schematic of the solid state relay. So we attach a relay to each pin and connect it to a bus to have all possible combination using less components, and that would reduce the cost. So for example, if I want to hit start, it will make relay 1 and 13 touch together, and that's how pin 1 and 13 also will be physically touching by making them on, and that will make the microwave start automatically. So, relay one, and signal will go through here, go all the way, go to relay 13, and that's how they physically touch on the bus. And as you can see them, here are the relays on our PCB, they are the white components, and they are just, their inputs are connected by resistors, so we can, for safety purposes. The cost of our model PCB, including components, is around $50, but that will not be the actual cost of this feature if added to what on the market now. This could be easily integrated into the existing PCB of the microwave and that will take the cost of the microcontroller on all other components. The only thing that it will be added to the code and the relays and the scanner, the web camera. Okay, now that your food is done, you just open the door. Take your food out and you don't have to touch anything anymore and just enjoy.